Hello friends, welcome back to our topic, Practical Geometry. Today we are going to do the next type of questions, that is, when three sides and two included angles of a quadrilateral are given, how to construct the quadrilateral, that is, three sides and two included angles are given, then how to construct the quadrilateral that we are going to learn today. I am explaining the first question of the exercise 4.4. Construct the following quadrilateral. Quadrilateral B, E, A. And what are the measurements given? See, B equal to 4 centimeter, E, A equal to 5 centimeter, A, R equal to 4.5 centimeter, angle E equal to 60 degree, angle A equal to 90 degree. And I have drawn the rough diagram here. See, it is a quadrilateral can draw in any shape. Quadrilateral D, E, A, R drawn. Now write the given measurement D equal to 4 centimeter, E A equal to 5 centimeter, A R equal to 4.5 centimeter. Angle E here marked 60 degree and angle A marked 90 degree. This is the rough diagram. And the completed diagram also I am showing. After that, I will show how to construct through the video. So, first, what we are going to do, see here. First, we are going to draw the rough diagram from that. EA we are going to draw. See, EA equal to 5 centimeter. Then at E, 60 degree angle, constructing this ray. Then here, 4 centimeter, R cutting, you will get the point D. Same way, at a 90 degree keeping, then ray will come like this. Then radius 4.5 taking, you have to draw an arc which is cutting at R. So, D and R got, we have to join this. This is the way we are going to do. I will show you through video. Now, second question, one more question I am going to explain today. That also I will show you. Quadrilateral T, R, U, E. So, T, R equal to 3.5 centimeter. R, U equal to 3 centimeter. U, E equal to 4 centimeter. Angle R equal to 75 degree. Angle U equal to 120 degree. Then I have drawn the rough diagram. T R U E. See, oh, one thing you have to take care that is, here are two angles given, angle R and angle U. That side, including that side, we have to take as the base. So, that first we have to draw that side R U. Then at R, we will construct angle 75 degree. Then at U, we will construct the angle 120 degree. Then these two sides length we are knowing, those two sides length we are cutting arc and then we will get the point T and E and then we will get the quadrilateral. Here also completed diagram here shown here. See, first that is side R U we have drawn of length 3 centimeter. Then at the point R we have constructed angle 75 degrees. See this ray will come. Then taking radius 3.5 centimeter we have to <coughs> cut the arc at T. Similarly, at U construct angle 120 degree, then you have to draw the arc of radius 4 centimeter which cut the ray at E. Then joining T and E, you will get the diagram. It is the same type as we done yesterday. Then we are going to show the real construction through video. So we are going to construct quadrilateral D E A R as I have explained the rough diagram. D E 4 cm, E A 5 cm, A R 4.5 cm, and two included angle, angle E equal to 60 degree, angle A equal to 90 degree given. So whenever we draw this type of question, two base angles are given. So that included side we have to draw first. So we are going to start the, uh, start the construction. First of all, we are going to construct line segment EA equal to 5 centimeter. EA 0 to 5. EA. of length of 5 centimeters. Now, we have to construct angle E, 60 degree. And 60 degree is a multiple of 15, so we can draw with the help of compass. 
So take any convenient radius with the E as center and radius, any convenient radius, draw an arc and keeping the same radius, keeping this point as center, draw an arc, that will be of 60 degree. 60 degree is very easy to draw. Then we have to draw a ray. We can give the name here S. Now we have got angle E equal to 60 degree. Now we know the length of B. B E is of length of 4 cm. So we will measure radius 4 cm on the compass. 0 to 4. With E as center and the radius 4 cm, draw an arc. The cutting. The cutting point will be here. What is that? That will be D. Cutting point will be and it is of length 4 cm. So that side over. Now other side, H A we have to construct angle 90 degree. 90 degree also we can draw with the help of compass. We have drawn 90 degree angle many times. We know many times. So by keeping any convenient radius, draw an arc of any radius and draw. Now keeping the same radius from this point, draw an arc. So it is of 60 degree. Again, keeping at this point center, draw one more arc. That point will join in will get 120 degree. That is, A and this point joining will get 60 degree. A and this point joining will get 120 degree. Now we have to make the bisector of this, then we will get 90 degree. So take a little radius less than that. And keeping this point as center, again, draw the arc. So for the arc intersecting to that point, we have to draw a ray connecting A. So that will be of 90 degree. So this is the ray. So we have given the name well we have constructed 90 degree at the point a so angle is 60 degree constructed angle and 90 degree constructed now we know the length of ar ar equal to 4.5 centimeter so measure the radius 4.5 centimeter just taken with the a as center and radius 4.5 centimeter row and r here is the that R will intersect the ray at which point, which point is left here? R. So this point will be R. And it is of radius 4 points. So its length is 4.5 centimeter. Now we have got the point D here and R here. Join D R. So we have got the required quadrilateral. Joining D and R we have got. So quadrilateral D E A R is ready. So again, saying once more, first we have to construct line segment, E of length 5 centimeter, at E, construct angle 60 degree, then with 4 centimeter radius, with E as center, draw an arc, which cut the ray at the point B. Same way, at the point A, construct angle 90 degree, and the degree construction is very linear with you now, then keeping A as center, radius 4.5 centimeter, draw an arc, the arc will intersect the ray at the point R. So we have got the point B and R. So join B R. So we have got the quadrilateral B E A R of required mesh. So I think you understood the same step only. I'm just saying once more. Draw line segment E A of length of 5 centimeter. As we have explained the same way only. The same step it is written. The last I will show you both the questions step together. Now we are going to do question number two. That is, we have to construct quadrilateral P R U E. P R equal to three point five centimeter. R U three centimeter. U E four centimeter. Angle R equal to seventy five degree. Angle U equal to one twenty degree. So here in this quadrilateral, the given measurements are written. I have told the two angles are given base angles R and U. So the side containing those two angles we will draw first. 
That is, first you have to draw line segment R E of length 3 cm. Then at point R, we will construct the angle 75 degree. Then we will draw the arc of radius 3.5 cm to get the point P. Similarly, at the point U, we will construct the angle 120 degree. Then we will draw an arc of radius 4 cm to get the point P. Then joining P and D, we will get the required quadrant. Now we are going to do the real construction. So first of all, we are going to construct line segment RU of length 3 cm. So construct line segment RU of length 3 cm. 0 to 3. Length name is RU of length 3 cm. Now at R, we have to construct angle 75 degree. 75 degree is a multiple of 15. So we can construct it with the help of compass. So keeping taking compass of any convenient radius, draw an arc. We can be able to draw. Keeping the same radius at this point as center, draw an arc for 60 degree. Then again, this point as center, draw one more arc for 120 degree. Now we are so joining this point and this unit 60 degree, R and this point joining again 120 degree. Now we have to make 75 degree. Where you will get 75 degree? 60 plus 15. So this is 60. So first of all, we will construct 90 degree. After that only we can get 75. So keeping this point as center, draw an arc, and keeping this point also, we have to draw the construction. So we have got, this will be the point for 90 degrees. So I am drawing with the dotted lines. Dotted lines. It is of 90 degrees. Now we have to get 75 degrees. So this is the 90 degrees line and this is of 60 degrees point. So these two angles, we have 60 degree, 90 degree. So if these two angles bisect and we will draw, then we will get 75. So six, here it will be 30 degree. Here it is 60. So 30 is bisect and will be 15. So 60 plus 15, you will get 75 degrees. So we have to draw the bisector again. So take the Radius little less than the previous, then keeping this point as center, row and arc, and keeping the 60 degree point as center also, row and arc. Both the arc intersecting, then we have to draw a right. Extend it. We can do the name X. So we have constructed here angle R equal to 75 P. Now we know the length of PR. PR is of length 3.5 centimeter. So we will PR is of length 3.5 centimeter, taking the radius. 3.5 centimeter. 3.5 centimeter with R as center. Radius 3.5 centimeter. Draw an arc. The arc will intersect the ray at this point. What is the point of intersection? It will be P. And it is of length 3.5 centimeter. In the place to write here, here I am writing 3.5. So this side over. Now same way at this side, at the point U, we have to construct angle 120 degree. So take any convenient radius. Then with the U as center, we have to draw an arc. Draw 
from now. Now keeping the same radius, this point as center, draw an arc for 60 degree, then keeping this point as center, draw one more arc for 120 degree. 120 degree is very easy because if you join this point and you will get 60 degree and this point and this you get 120 degree. So direct to the second arc we will draw, then you will get 120 degree. So this is of 120 degrees where we have constructed. We can give the name Y. So at U we have constructed the angle 120 degree. Now we know the length of UE. UE equal to 4 centimeter. UE equal to 4 centimeter. UE 4 centimeter. So measure the radius 4 centimeter with the radius with the U as center, see, you can see it, with the U as center and radius 4 centimeter, draw an arc, here you are putting, which intersect the ray at the point, which point is that here, you can see in the rough diagram, it is point E, so this point will be E, and its length is of 4 centimeter. Now we have got the point T here, T here, joining T, E, we will get the required quadrilateral. You see here, I am joining points T and E. So we have got the quadrilateral T, R, U, T of the required measurement. I just I will say the step once more. First of all, we have to construct line segment R, U of length 3 cm. Then at the point R, we have to construct angle U, R, X equal to 75 degree. Then with the R as center, draw an R from radius 3.5 cm to intersect ray Rx at T. Similarly, construct angle R, U, Y equal to 120 degree at the point U. Then with the U as center, draw an R of radius 4 cm to intersect ray U, Y at T. Now join T, E. So we have got the required quadrilateral T, R, U, E. And the same construction, and just to uh, type down so after this video. Here is the step uh, as I had explained in the diagram. Step of first question, draw a line segment E, A equal to 5 cm. Construct angle A, E, X equal to 60 degree at T. With the E as center, draw an arc of radius 4 cm to intersect ray EX at D. Construct angle EAY equal to 90 degree at A. With the A as center, draw an arc of radius 4.5 cm to intersect ray AY at R. Draw DR. DER is the required quadrilateral. Now the step of second question. First step, draw a line segment RU equal to 3 cm. Construct angle URX equal to 75 degree at R. With R as center, draw an arc of radius 3.5 cm to intersect ray RX at T. Construct angle RUY equal to 120 degree at U. With the U as center, draw an arc of radius 4 cm to intersect ray UY at E. Row T E T R U E is the required quadrilateral. So as I had explained yesterday, first we have to draw the rough diagram. See, I'm showing. First you have to draw the rough diagram. Then after that, the real construction diagram. Then you have to write the step of first question. After that, then second questions. Second questions rough diagram, then it's a real diagram, then it's a steps like that. You and you have to draw all the diagrams with a pencil. Thank you. To, today we are concluding the session here. Tomorrow we will meet again. Till then, bye.